from secretly building the Nesher in the 1970s to turning it into Israel's advanced Kafir fighter, Israel transformed an imported design into a homegrown aerial powerhouse. Discover the daring upgrades, cutting edge innovations, and the story of a jet that changed the balance of power in the Middle East. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of how Israel took the Mirage Atherton, turned it into the IAI Nesher, and eventually upgraded it into the formidable KFIR fighter jet. Israel's journey in aerospace innovation is nothing short of remarkable. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Israel faced severe challenges in acquiring modern fighter aircraft due to global arms restrictions. Determined to achieve air superiority, the nation embarked on an ambitious path to reverse engineer the French Mirage Thury. The result was the Nesher, a fighter that closely mirrored its French counterpart but incorporated subtle tweaks suited for Israeli defense needs. But Israel didn't stop there. Recognizing the need for improved performance, avionics, and weapons integration, engineers at Israel Aerospace Industries IAI began upgrading the Nesher into a more advanced platform. This transformation wasn't just about raw speed or firepower, it reflected Israel's ability to innovate under pressure, turning limitations into groundbreaking solutions. Over time, the Nesher evolved into the Kafir, a fighter that combined the reliability of the Mirage with new engines, advanced electronics, and multi-role capabilities. In this video, We'll explore this incredible journey section by section, revealing how Israel's ingenuity reshaped its air power forever. The roots of Israel's fighter jet program trace back to the French Mirage Athuri, a supersonic Delta wing jet that revolutionized air combat in the 1960s. Israel had initially acquired Mirages for its air force, and they quickly became central to the nation's defense strategy. However, political tensions soon made further acquisitions difficult. Faced with these restrictions, Israel decided to reverse engineer the Mirage Athur in secret. The project was codenamed Nesher, which means eagle in Hebrew. Engineers meticulously studied every component from the airframe to the jet's flight systems. They faced numerous technical challenges particularly with integrating Israel's specific avionics and weapon systems. The Nesher was not an exact copy. It included improvements that reflected lessons learned from the Yom Kippur War and other regional conflicts. Its lightweight airframe maneuverability and ability to carry a variety of weapons made it a reliable fighter for the Israeli Air Force, IAF. The development of the Nesher demonstrated Israel's growing aerospace capabilities and laid the foundation for future innovations. It was a statement to the world, even under embargoes, Israel could produce competitive fighter jets. This strategic leap set the stage for the next phase, the transformation into the fur, a jet that would redefine Israel's aerial power. As the Nesher proved itself operationally, Israel sought to create a fighter capable of outperforming potential adversaries in both agility and firepower. This led to the birth of the Kafir, meaning lion cub, unlike the Nesher, which closely resembled the Mirage Athern. The Kfir featured a powerful American made General Electric J79 engine known from the F4 Phantom. This engine significantly enhanced thrust speed and climb performance, giving Israel a competitive edge in aerial combat. Additionally, the Kafir's airframe was reinforced and slightly modified to handle greater loads, higher maneuvering forces, and advanced missile systems. Avionics upgrades included improved radar, navigation systems, and electronic countermeasures, allowing pilots to operate in more complex and contested environments. The integration of modern Israeli weaponry, including air-to-air -air missiles and precision bombs, further increased the Kafir's versatility. By combining proven design elements from the Mirage with state-of-the-art technologies, Israel created a multi-role fighter capable of both air superiority and ground attack missions. This transformation highlighted Israel's strategic vision. 
Rather than relying solely on imports, they could enhance existing platforms to meet unique national defense requirements. The Kafer soon became a symbol of Israeli ingenuity, bridging the gap between necessity and technological ambition in the Middle East. One of the most impressive aspects of the KFIR program was the ability to adapt foreign technologies for local needs. The engineers at Israel Aerospace Industries had to overcome challenges in integrating the American J-79 engine into a French-designed airframe. This was no small feat. The engine had different weight distribution, cooling requirements, and thrust characteristics compared to the Mirage's original SNN ECM Amatar engine, Engineers modified the fuselage air intake design and rear structure to accommodate these differences without compromising flight performance. Additionally, the Kefir incorporated advanced avionics developed domestically, including radar and navigation systems capable of detecting and engaging modern threats. This allowed Israeli pilots to conduct precision strikes, operate effectively at night, and survive increasingly sophisticated enemy air defenses. The fighter's aerodynamic tweaks improve maneuverability, especially during dogfights, giving pilots a critical advantage in combat. The KFIR also became a key export product, with several countries adopting it under license or through direct sales. This success underscored Israel's ability not just to build aircraft, but to innovate, modify, and, and enhance them for operational superiority. It wasn't merely an upgrade, it was a transformation that cemented Israel's reputation as a technological leader in fighter aviation. Operational deployment of the KFIR brought tangible advantages to the Israeli Air Force. During exercises and real-world operations, pilots noted significant improvements in acceleration, climb rate, and weapons integration compared to the older Nesher. The KFIR's multi-role capability allowed it to perform air superiority missions, intercept enemy aircraft, and provide close air support. Its agility and thrust to weight ratio made it formidable in dogfights, while advanced avionics enabled precision targeting even in challenging conditions. One of the strategic strengths of the KFIR was its ability to carry a wide array of Israeli developed weaponry, including missiles, bombs, and rockets, providing flexibility in combat scenarios. Beyond performance, the KFIR also demonstrated Israel's growing confidence in producing and maintaining complex fighter aircraft domestically. By relying less on foreign suppliers, Israel ensured greater operational independence and faster adaptation to emerging threats. The lessons learned from operating the Kefir influenced subsequent fighter designs, including the development of the Lavai and improvements in F-50CI adaptations. This period highlighted a crucial phase in Israel's aerospace evolution, where ingenuity and necessity merged to create a fighter that was both modern and uniquely suited to regional defense requirements. The KFIR's design evolution also reflects the broader strategic context of Israel's military needs. Surrounded by adversaries with increasingly modern air forces, Israel required a fighter capable of maintaining air dominance under various threat scenarios. The KFIR's combination of speed, maneuverability, and advanced avionics addressed these challenges. Engineers introduced strengthened landing gear, Enabling operations from shorter runways a critical feature for rapid deployment and dispersed airbase strategies. Its radar systems were upgraded to detect threats beyond visual range, while electronic countermeasure capabilities improved survivability against surface-to-air missiles. The aircraft's flexibility in carrying multiple weapon types meant that a single sortie could serve both air-to-air -air and air to ground objectives, maximizing operational efficiency. These adaptations were a direct response to Israel's experiences in conflicts such as the Yom Kippur War, where the ability to quickly adapt to enemy tactics proved decisive. The Kefir project also reinforced Israel's reputation for innovation, showing the world that limitations in procurement could be overcome with domestic ingenuity. By transforming the Nesher into the Kefir, 
Israel not only upgraded a fighter jet, but also created a symbol of resilience, strategy, and technological excellence. Export and international use of the KFIR demonstrated the fighter's versatility beyond Israeli skies. Several countries, including Colombia, Ecuador, and Sri Lanka acquired the aircraft to enhance their air defense capabilities. Its combination of proven design, upgraded engine performance, and multi-role functionality made it a cost effective yet powerful alternative to other Western fighters. These exports also provided Israel with strategic leverage, strengthening diplomatic and military ties with partner nations. In addition, the Kiefer became an example of how Israel could customize fighters for export markets while maintaining operational superiority at home. International operators valued the aircraft's durability ease of maintenance and adaptability to various mission profiles. Meanwhile, the experience gained from these export programs further refined Israel's aerospace expertise. Engineers could implement lessons learned from different operational theaters, improving avionics, weapons integration, and pilot training programs. The KFIR's legacy in global military aviation extends beyond its operational life influencing fighter design and modernization programs worldwide. It showed that a small nation with limited access to external technology could still produce aircraft capable of competing with major powers in air combat scenarios, solidifying Israel's place as an innovative force in military aviation. Technological innovation was at the heart of the Kafir's success. Unlike many fighter upgrades that focus on superficial changes, Israel's approach integrated deep systems level improvements. For instance, radar systems allowed simultaneous tracking of multiple targets while maintaining engagement capabilities, giving pilots a critical advantage in crowded combat airspace. The integration of new electronic warfare suites helped the aircraft evade enemy radar and missile systems, ensuring survivability even in hostile environments. Engineers also enhanced cockpit ergonomics, providing pilots with better situational awareness and intuitive controls during high-stress missions. Weapon systems were adapted to support precision strikes, making the KFIR an effective platform for both offensive and defensive operations. Furthermore, Israel's continuous improvements meant the aircraft remained relevant for decades, bridging the gap between older generation fighters and more modern designs like the F-60I. The KFIR program exemplifies Israel's philosophy of maximizing the potential of existing platforms through innovation rather than relying solely on new aircraft purchases. It's a testament to the nation's strategic foresight combining engineering expertise with combat experience to create a fighter that could meet both immediate threats and long-term operational requirements. The transformation from Nesher to Fur also reflects Israel's broader approach to national defense. Instead of relying on external suppliers, Israel invested in domestic aerospace capabilities ensuring control over design, upgrades, and operational deployment. This independence allowed for rapid adaptation to emerging threats and ensured that technological secrets remained secure. The Kafir became more than just a fighter jet. It was a symbol of self, reliance, innovation, and determination. Pilots praised its reliability, maneuverability, and the seamless integration of Israeli developed systems which provided a strategic advantage in regional conflicts. The lessons learned from this project influenced Israel's next generation fighters, informing designs like the lobby and adaptations of American F-16s for domestic requirements. Additionally, the KFIR program demonstrated how a small nation could leverage limited resources to achieve air superiority through clever engineering, strategic planning, and relentless innovation by converting a reverse engineered Mirage into a highly capable multi-role fighter, Israel set a benchmark for how ingenuity and perseverance could overcome geopolitical limitations, shaping the nation's aerial capabilities for decades to come. 
Today, the Kfir remains a legendary chapter in the story of Israeli aviation. Its evolution from the Nesher is a testament to creativity under pressure, technical mastery, and strategic foresight. While newer fighters have taken over frontline duties, the lessons learned from the Kfir program continue to influence Israel's Air Force and aerospace industry. The journey showcases the importance of innovation, adaptability, and self-reliance in modern military aviation. By transforming a foreign design into a uniquely Israeli fighter, the nation not only enhanced its defense capabilities, but also cemented its reputation as a pioneer in aerospace engineering. The story of the Nesher and Kafer is more than just a tale of aircraft. It's a lesson in how determination, intelligence, and technology can change the balance of power. Every design tweak, engine upgrade, and avionics improvement reflects Israel's commitment to protecting its skies while advancing its technological edge. For aviation enthusiasts and military historians alike, the Nesher to Kafir evolution represents a defining moment in the Middle East and global fighter aircraft history. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Israel's fighter jet evolution, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exclusive military aviation content. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Which upgrade impressed you the most the Nesher or the Kfir?